fuck on, man. Kick it away Always hurt. A short kick taken at the 18. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. run got three now here's second and seven tongue of Iloa working out of the gun oh sweet come and on the there. that would have been two drives in a row with come a pick on, he's got to start man. taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying interestingly that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive but fell incomplete Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been a long story. night. Thank you! This That's a intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. But to me, it's pretty thing, simple. Boy. And it's fairly yeah, obvious, he is. isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline. And now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Rifle it in there every now and then. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. And they'll try the jet sweep here. Oh, that is, that is disgusting. No, don't call that again. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Oh, cool. That's, that's the again. danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's got Rome. And he's finally taken down. And it's, it's a sticky, big baby. game turned out to be the final play of this first quarter. Look at Andrews out there After one seven nothing on EA Sports. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Oh, I didn't set these audibles, huh? I thought it was. Jackson. That's out to the flat for Gibson. It, Give me some more. And in for the Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. As the Ravens push further out in front. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. So a little bit of a turnover. You went right back to and got that omelet and crushed it. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. A little gotta worried do. about your hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs>
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. A gain of six there on first. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And that oh. one almost intercepted. Could have been his third pick of the game. Instead, it's going to bring up a third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Tua sets up to pass it. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Hello. Tyus Bowser in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Colby Wadman now. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 36. Oh, stiff arms never work. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Ravens, right. they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Definitely get the right now they're here. saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he'll be Ooh. taken down at the 44-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. That's complete. Left side to Bateman. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And now Yo, come on, rookie. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. Come on, and rookie. These guys will take over at the 30 yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Only needing two yards on second down. 
Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa on the move to his left. And everybody open there. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Sure. Good Come job on. there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Tua. Flushed out right. Yes, sir. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down Stop. and incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three. <laughs> so first and ten now from the 30. Looking to pass to a yeah, right, yeah, complete. right. I knew the corner was coming. A little too good there, and it's second down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go. On play action. Here's Tua. Oh, wow. Fuller with a catch. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Oh, it's an angle route. Okay. Will Fuller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. the touchdown ready to kick it away to Sanders on the return Devin Duvernay and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and last drive obviously not what you're looking for you've got the lead you got to protect the football so in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. On second and 15 now. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Third and two. Here's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He'll dump that off to Gibson, complete. Room here to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing, and they got it out to him on the left side, and he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. Mike 55, Mike 55. 
We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Being chased. Oh, what the left. fuck was that? It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. Second down, it's Gibson. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. They go play action now. Jackson, he'll buy some time right. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Wow, he didn't go to field. Right. into a mess as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's what a cross. It's a Dolphins touchdown. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that might be his last pass in the NFL because when you throw an interception, especially a pick six as a kicker, CD, I don't know that you recover from that one. <laughs> if you got to remember one thing, my vintage takes me back to shades of Gary Premier against Washington in Super Bowl seven. Yeah, folks, I would tell you to do an encyclopedia search, but actually nowadays you do an internet search. Check that one out. And that was at least off of a block kick. This was a design throw. Results the same, though. Interception, six points going the other way. Hello, Mike Bass. Remember you? And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. set at the line for this next drive and they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here Ooh. here's Gibson to start the drive and he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage that really sets him back a loss of six now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So a nightmare start to the drive as they're already staring at second and long. He'll get that out wide to Duvernay. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Illegal, man. Come on, bro. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for. That, that time it fuck. costs him. Get this man points. Now Jackson back into his end zone. A slant route caught by Bateman. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Play action. Now Jackson. Flush to his right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. Imagine. Able to connect. Incomplete. Imagine. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. 
I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Back deep for Miami, Jalen Waddle. Returnable here from the 38. Let's get to this man three points. Oh, no. Time for time. <laughs> Stupid. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Final preparations being made for the second half, both in terms of game plan and also hydration because humidity is really going to catch up to these guys, no doubt. And for the call of the second half, we go back to Brandon God. Yeah, Coach, hey, that goes for the announcers, too. No AC in this booth, so we've got a mash unit of empty water bottles up here as well. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It's a tied football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tied game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't put anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. I think that was a pretty good read right there. They caught him in zone defense and went to the hitch. And because they're in zone, that creates a natural space between the defenders and the receiver, able to get it to him quickly and let him get upfield. On second down, a run with Gibson. And yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. But he's playing run all the way here. On second and 11 now, Jackson. And he's able to get what this a one to the 40-yard line. What a fucking dime, yeah, a fun boy. One to watch right there, a nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. That was a fucking dime. It's a fucking dime. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. A give running right Gibson and he'll work this forward for about three at second down just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up and now a pass dumped off to his running back and he works it to the 30 yard line here right at the 30. Another catch for him there on this drive Brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and 10, it's Gibson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Jackson, eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. 
that was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, <laughs> got to the no sticks, read. and picked up the first down. <laughs> he So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is cool. Get in there, Andrew. Hey. Let's get it. Mark Andrews, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Oh. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Waddle will return this from the end zone. Come on, he got to be hit right there, bro. The 20, he hit power. He's dropped at the 17. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need That's to bullshit. take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up. Somebody here. who complained about Aaron Palabicki, more sure to run the ball a lot. There. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Strong slide again. All right. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. Barrow, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. And able to find Should have just dove at your ass. Should have been sacked. And he is going to have the Dolphins' first down <laughs> as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> that gets you off the field third down, boy. You're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Oh, shit, he actually ran the ball. And he'll be taken down just play shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Holding. Let's check on the call. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. 
They faked the handoff. Now Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. Oh! Givon Chi! Nigga, God bless you. Picked off by Tavon Young. I'll run them. Ah, and damn it. Ravens will take over here at the 14-yard <laughs> line. That is now seven, seven interceptions between last it's week. Too much hand to that one, boy. Four a week ago, and I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye, and watch it and see what's going on, and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are, and hopefully they can correct them. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. Bro, like, come on. What, what is this defense, man? Like, what are we going to do? You it's just so corny. You should be able to run all over this. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Second and running all over this shit here, bro. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he will have a Ravens first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And Jackson going to have the first down as he will get to the ground to avoid the contact. Now Jackson on first down. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he'll Almost go a route down. runner. That will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action with Jackson. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the back. Catch him by the ankles. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Throwing again on second down. Jackson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. And not much running room down to the 32. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Gibson. Ooh, the joke. Oh, oh. He's got the first down inside the team. <laughs> He'll take him into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. 25 yards. And the Ravens might be headed to the win column for the first time this season as they add on to their lead. Tucker I love you like a plate cousin, point. man. <laughs> I love you like a plate cousin, man. It did you dirty right there, boy. He's got it as they double up the lead. Stopping a run all game. And whoop. Nobody could tackle. Shit was kind of weak, though. Not going to lie. Check the stats for the rookie, though. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that oh. sails over the end line. Oh. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Right back to him on first down. There we go. Strong Let's run, put back inside, baby. The, the tackle made by a Landon Roberts. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Gaskin. And he'll push this forward Top only defense. about the 42-yard line. Defense, defense, defense. A gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up 35. He's averaging 6.5. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't Here. possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. Okay. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Dolphins on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Play action. Now it's two. Bang, bang. There's 99. Oh, that's the other guy. That's the rookie. <laughs> Hello, rookie. Welcome to the NFL. going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. It's real good. Yo, no fucking way. No fucking way. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Trailing in the fourth quarter. What a crock of shit. Fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done as you noted, and they did. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and ten at the 43. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He gets this complete to Shaheen, the tight end. That's the backup tight end that made that fucking route, bro. I did that too. That's the backup tight end, bro. Backup tight end, Brandon is safety. All right. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Touchdown. You were there, 25. You were there. A great play there. With his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. We were there, 25. And touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders. Turn is Duvernay. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. At their own 19 yard yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Oh. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach, and let, let's face it, this season certainly has not gone the way many had expected or at least hoped. And I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier this week. Yeah, we certainly did, didn't we? Because, let's face it, he's heard the whispers. 
and they're growing louder that he shouldn't be around next year. He essentially stormed out of that meeting you just referenced with the reporters. How did he end it? We're done here. Well, that's a function of losing and all the pressure that's on him. You hear about pressure creating diamonds? In this case, it's bursting the pipes of the... Oh, Jackson my damn. Get away, and he'll go down. It'll be a loss yeah, yeah, of 10. Cover three, bro. And it'll bring up second. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. This is caught. It's Brown. Yo, the come Dolphins. on, man. I was holding all one on the fucking sideline. It's still fumble. By the Dolphins. And a huge return. So He'll stupid, the bro. Down inside the 30 yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because oh, God, you know, the defensive man. guys were over there chilling on the Cornerback for some fumbles. Sudden, still, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble so puts dumb. them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Let us score, nigga. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. Following the fumble recovery, Sack. here's Tua. They'll get this and this is a completion. This is a completion. Game there, second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. It can make sense, man. It can make sense, man. Make it fucking sense. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they had as well as to understand where they are in the field. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Now second and nine from the 10. Tongue of Iloa. To the Wowzer. end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly it's what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Here's Tua. Oh. Tight coverage there. It's knocked away. Incomplete. Gotta be shitting me, bro. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has Gotta to be, a first be shitting down me, bro. Or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Why is it showing me? Two to throw. Nope. Wrong number. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. They calling me to come back to the street. To for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. And another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this one is incomplete. You know, you know, following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under, CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. Accelerating and off he goes. 
the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, and even 90 yards. No, you can't and show me the same like play to two times in a row, baby. As they add on to their lead. Oop. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. If you wanted to uh, throw a 90 yard touchdown to uh, Waddle. And they will not get a chance to I return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times are roughing the passer? I know it's roughing the passer. The term yep. Complimentary football. I click <laughs> circle and click square. Defense, yep. defense, roughing the passer. The offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. Pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Tua. Oh, that's an easy one. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. <laughs> Thought he could have yes, turned that corner, baby. Interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because oh, the there, it is. there is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football. Man, I don't know how to run this fucking stretch well. bullshit, man. And he will cross the <laughs> it don't work down for me. 29-yard line. <laughs> So gay. Three, second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology. Uh, a block, on that one, huh? 66. Call that a game bump. of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Oops. And down he goes. They it's not a good play to run. Take that shit out the playbook line. immediately. The GG's, man. To the challenge and setting him back on the set. GG's in the chat, boy. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of we people watching the Miami, this one are like thinking did to themselves, real life. I'll bet halftime was oh, really bitches. interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for Baltimore, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they'll have another road date next week with the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0 and 3. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. We ain't losers no more.
still turned the bubble three times. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a biznai? This motherfucker fumbled again, bro. I mean, if we can play every game and only throw three incompletions, I'm okay with running the ball as much as we did. <laughs> uh, people got in for touches, man. Touches. Six for 146 and score. Five for that eight and a score. Five for 44. Don't like that shit. Four for 62. Three for 24. Stanley with three pancakes. Big country got a pancake. I swear, fucking Sheriff is out for a long time again, bro. I'm just so pissed. Brian Kinney. First sack of his career. Brandon Stevens with the game of his career. Take one young quarter deep ball. Yo, three interceptions and four pass deflections, bro. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> four pass deflections with three picks. That's fucking dope. Pick this little ass off, didn't I? Yes, I did. Woo. Me and Jalen Waddle. Where was we lined up at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wide. Now, where did this ball go through? Hey, through his body. Well, my hands went through his body. That's some bullshit. I would be upset, but you also threw it right into coverage. Like, you, it's, it's thrown right into coverage. Boop. <laughs> Cause if I don't get, if I don't get the pick, I get the hit, and it bounces out. Probably 36 grabs it, or if that'll happen. 36 is gonna get the hit, and you know, not a completion. But I'll take the pick though. <laughs> Gibson right here. Spread, single high. Shouldn't run the ball versus it, but it's an outside zone too. Trying out some outside zone stuff, man. This looks good. Your center can get that right there. Ooh, that was that's terrible, bro. That's terrible. Yeah, he should have been there for that tackle. That's ass. Got hold there, buddy. For sure. User pick. User pick. User pick. Ying. Why you throw the wheel, bro? You don't throw the rail route on this on this uh from this formation right here. Especially if you're streaking a guy. You throw that wheel route early, or you don't throw it at all. Your wheel route is the first read in mesh. But I'll take this though. Whoop. You read the rail first, then run your mesh. up the ball bro. this separation is so late and it's so delayed like he just know for a fact that this route is gonna win versus me he's not open he's not open at all he just speed burst past 24 Whoop. hate to see it <laughs> Oh, uh, this is the, uh, <laughs> uh, motherfucking Andrews didn't go and, uh, look, you can see me hit the playmaker button, he ain't fucking go up the field, oh, punk bitch, made me throw it right to that damn DB, <laughs> uh, that shit funny, Andrews for a 16 yarder here, nickel 335 wide, 9, bringing that safety down to come 
fuck with the, uh, the jet touch pass or jet motion. Vacated that area right there, boyo. Boop. Zinger. So I love the jet motion, bro. It just gets people out. Of that first step is false. That's your ass. Mm. The deep ball he threw, I believe. Yeah, he burnt my user, but shit, Tavon Young was able to catch up to him. Where's he throwing this from? All spotted about the 45. That ball's got to come out right now. Seriously, seriously, that play action come out the pop right there. You see that quarterback load it up? That back foot hits the uh, the grass and plants. That's when that ball's coming out. Open the net. When the ball's coming out. Because you're running out of real estate. You know your guy's going to beat him over the top of speed anyway. It's 95 speed versus 89 speed. <laughs> he gets there, though. They love to see it. This is cover four, too, by the way. Cover fucking four. What formation was he in on this? Uh, um, iPhone tight or close or whatever it shit is. What was this? Third and one? Yeah, third and one. And off inside. 0 1 trap. No tackle, bro. He just did not tackle. Went for the hit stick there. <laughs> Bounces off a guy there. Auto hurdle here. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Shaheen for a big play here. This is backup tight end running this route. He's, not, he's honestly not even open. Just a bad play. At 25. He's stiff arms fucking Humphrey. <laughs> so since he scored, we came back out here. We tried to score too. First and 10, we take a sack though. Must have been watching my streams. He knows about that fucking spot route. Or the spacing concept that I'm running here. All over that shit. Oh, Hollywood beat his guy, too. Hollywood stacked him. Hollywood's gone for a touchdown right here. He's gone for a touchdown right here. <laughs> That's why you play on the outside, boy. What is that slipping again? Double move. Ying, ying. See, was with another pick. This was a CPU pick, not a user. We're in a spot and go, but. A three rack is literally sitting right there in the middle of the field, bro. Sitting right there, just fading right back into it. Yoink. What run was this? Oh, this is the stretch. <laughs> the stretch that M was running. Maybe I should just get a fullback. I guess, maybe. Let's make it happen, Captain. <laughs> 